effectively designed because it used these existing efficient systems to get the money out quickly. And also, it was targeted, these provisions were well targeted to those who needed to spend the money quickly and get it out into the economy. That's what we needed to have happen. This was important, you know, uh, others have mentioned the multiplier effect of, of, uh, of, of the direct aid. Senator Casey mentioned this. Food stamps, uh, according to a study that's been widely circulated by uh, economist at Moody's, Moody's Economy.com, Mark Zandi, the, food, the spending <laughs> each dollar we spend in those temporary food stamp benefits generated $1.74 in economic activity. The money was getting to people who needed to spend it, they were getting it out into their communities quickly. If you think about a food stamp recipient spending money at the local good grocery store, the grocery store has more income, they're able then to maybe keep the clerk at, half, at full time instead of half time. The clerk then is able to spend some extra income at the local hardware store. It reverberates through the community and that's how uh, these provisions worked uh, to boost consumer spending at that crucial time when we really needed to save the economy from its collapse. Of course, these provisions also have worked to save uh, many of the most vulnerable people in our country uh, from, uh, from more pain. The, uh, we estimate that uh, those five direct aid provisions in the act, along with a couple of other tax cuts, um, have lifted, are lifting over six million people in the country out of poverty uh, in 2009. That includes about two and a half million children, which has important long-term implications, of course, uh, to say nothing of the, of the short-term importance of uh, lifting those families out of poverty. In Pennsylvania, uh, about 189 million, sorry, 189,000 Pennsylvanians, Pennsylvanians were lifted out of poverty by uh, those seven provisions. Uh, as my next informative slide indicates. You know, um, and, and in addition to lifting 189,000 or so people out of poverty in the state, uh, it also reduced the severity of poverty for another one million or so people in Pennsylvania. Now, of course, this doesn't include, our analysis doesn't include many other provisions that also have helped low-income families the uh, TANF provision, for example, uh, extra money for child nutrition, uh, a number of other uh, important pieces of the act that have helped low-income families uh, and will help us all move forward together uh, as the economy starts to improve. Uh, our analysis also doesn't include the value of the state fiscal aid uh, in, in helping low-income families, and I want to talk a little bit about the importance of that fiscal aid now, too. You know, states really, it wasn't just the economy and, and, our, and, 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 and uh, personal income that was collapsing last year. The, as a result of that, the revenues that were coming into states were really falling apart at record rates. Uh, the, shortfalls that states are facing now are now at unprecedented levels. And the fiscal aid that was in the Recovery Act was really crucial in helping states to at least mitigate some of the cuts that they made as a result of those shortfalls. And they continue to be, that fiscal aid continues to be important this year. 